Just laying a basis here. How do things become manifest? How do things become real? This is the discussion that all humans really want to have, even though you don't know you want to have it in this framework. You really do. How does it become my life experience instead of just an idea of something that I want? As a basis of understanding the distinction that we like to make between motivation and inspiration. As you care about how you feel. And so you've deliberately reached for thoughts that feel good. So you're wobble free. Now law of attraction responding to your point of attraction. Soon other things that match the pure frequency that you've got going will begin to occur to you. This conversation is really about, if you've been listening to us for a while and you heard us talking about upstream and downstream, you've heard us talking about the vortex, get in the vortex, get in the vortex, get in the vortex. And then we began talking about your point of attraction for a while. We called it the grid, your point of attraction where what's in the vortex, which is the vibrational version comes in to your, see it, hear it, smell it, taste it, touch it version. In other words, that realization such a good word the realization where the idea where the thought becomes a thing or where the idea becomes something tangible and we even want to call the idea itself more tangible than the idea that came before it in other words that movement so there is this movement there is this momentum from the vibration into the fuller realization of it and that movement from the vibration and the fuller realization of it, we want to call inspiration because when you're tuned to the frequency of who you really are, then you're keen to the pieces that are coming to you. You're on the frequency of it. You don't have as many wild goose chases. It is a much more satisfying experience, not only because it feels better as it unfolds, but it unfolds in a more dynamic way. You see where, motivation is more like I know what I want and I don't have it and how am I going to get myself from this place that I don't want to be to this place that I do want to be so my attention is upon what I don't want so I'm going to make myself do this thing that I don't really want to do so now I've given up the leverage of law of attractions benefit let's say that more accurately I've given up the leverage of alignment Law of attraction is going to respond to whatever vibrational frequency you've got going on. I've given up the leverage of alignment and I've exchanged it for the paltry, puny, weak <laughs> action world where I'm trying to convince someone. Have you ever tried to convince someone of something that you knew for sure would benefit them if they would just get it? only to discover that there are not enough words in the world or time in your life to make them get it under these conditions because the vibrational frequencies are at such variance that they just can't hear you and we say there's a leverage in alignment because when you take the time to be inspired to guide them rather than motivated to guide them your timing will be better and your words will hit home better and you'll be happier it just becomes more and more and more when you get tuned and you're tuned to source but you're focused in your world and source is focused to what you are giving your attention to and there's no disparity in the frequency between you and source you're standing here offering a vibration and that's the framework that we'll fill in with more details. That's sort of the vibrational structure that is you. That's why we were calling it a grid. Then it became a grime. No. It was, <laughs> and then a grind. Now we want it to feel more fluid and flexible to you. It is the atmosphere. It's the vibrational atmosphere that can best be described by your mood. Your mood is your vibrational atmosphere, which represents the degree to which you are now allowing yourself to be the receiver of everything that you've been asking for. It's like the open vibrational pathway. Let's call it an intersection between desire and belief. 
which equals the emotion because that's really what's intersecting what's really intersecting is desire oh let's change the words a little further still it's the intersection between desire which source has embraced completely so let's call it desire that source has got let's call it knowing let's call it the thing that I did desire and then I handed it off to source and source knew it so now it's the knowing the knowing that source holds and the belief that I hold let's call it that intersection which equals the emotion that I feel we like that intersection the intersection the focus the intersection the intersection the focus that I'm doing what I'm doing with my mind in relationship with what source is doing with my mind how about that that's an intersection because source is with me always source knows who I am and what I want and where I am in relationship to it so source is thinking about this and so am I am I in concert with source so am I inspired is it coming from the inside out or am I over here in defensiveness damn you source <laughs> let's call that next what I allow to happen let's call them next results let's call them next manifestations let's call them next occurrences because when there's steps you're motivating yourself that was extra good <laughs> but when they are occurrences when they are allowances when I'm allowing it aligning it you just got a whiff of how source feels right now and you translated it through your physical senses it became physical let's let's stay here for a minute it became physical it's starting to manifest the idea started its manifestation right now my physical body my see it hear it smell it taste it touch it body is realizing the vibration of it because I was so on vibrational frequency point so it was happening but I have practiced the frequency I and my physical body of it consistently enough that I realized it I translated I knew it my perspective held it my perspective knew it I blended with source just now I became source which is what inspiration is which means from our perspective letting your primary awareness and attention be to your vibration because your vibration is the most inside part of you it's the inside as it is gets so now what's happening to it because I've got a point of attraction going on I have a point of attraction going on and I realized it and I felt it now what's happening to that momentum it's increasing that's why it's becoming more and more and more and more and more and more the well, momentum is because of law of attraction that makes sense doesn't it? when you give your attention to something there is a vibration of your object of attention which then becomes your vibration as well as you focus there for as little as 17 seconds that vibration increases because another thought equal to it joins it and then another 17 seconds that happens again and another 17 seconds that happens again don't ask why it's 17 seconds it just is it was 18 it was 19 it will be 16 it will be 15 by the time you cross the 68 second mark you've got some momentum going that is noticeable so momentum and law of attraction are same and they are both caused by focus so more attention longer attention to something more momentum less attention less momentum and while you sleep you withdraw your attention you give your attention to something you withdraw it from something else so we think it's really good to think about focus to think about choice to think about selectively sifting to think about focusing based upon how the thought feels that's really what we are encouraging you to do feel your way to your thoughts and what happens is of course a thought produces an emotion because the thought that you are focused upon with your conscious physical equation has a constant reference point 
which is the thought that the source within you is thinking about the same thing at the same time. So you have the potential ability, which we are really encouraging that you foster and become excellent at. You have the ability to sense how your focus is blending or not with the focus that that broader perspective is holding about the same thing at the same time. Let's break it down a little bit. In the statement, we are all one, just assume with us because it is mostly the way that it is. The source within you, your inner beings who hold no resistance are resonant enough that it could be considered all one. But you come in your diversity and difference and balance in order to find new experiences to focus upon. And so while we are all one, there is a diversity that makes us different, especially out here on the leading edge where you are. So when you talk about your physical human power of influence, it is important to acknowledge that it is tremendously enhanced if you are first choosing to be in alignment with the source within you who is in alignment with all that is non-physically focused. That's why we say there's a leverage in that. So your power of influence for good is huge. Your power of influence for not good is paltry by comparison because the source within you is the dominant energy that you are harnessing, aligning with and flowing. When you disconnect yourself from it, that's too strong a word, but when you pinch it off, yes, Law of attraction will hook you up with others who feel like you do. And there is some awareness of that. In other words, there are streams of that sort of negative consciousness and thought. But compared to that source, it doesn't even apply. That's why it is ridiculous that humans talk about devil or demon and try to give that concept equivalent or greater power than this stream of well-being that is at the core of all that is. Can you feel that your work isn't to figure this out and then utilize it to understand all of the things about the world that you don't like? It's to figure it out and then find vibrational alignment with who you are and attract the things that you do want. Can you feel that your work isn't to fix things that are broken because nothing is broken, but to tune yourself to the frequency of who you are? Do you realize that you can't go back? You are pure positive energy beings who have come forth into a focused environment with a mechanism to focus that is serving you enormously well. You are pure positive energy who is still in the state of expansion, which is true of all of us. You represent the most expansive components of the universe. You said, I will expose myself to variety for the purpose of personally concluding new preferences. And then I will line up with those preferences. And we said, and we will be right there with you. And when you discover something that feels good to you, we will be in on the discovery and we will hold the vibrational frequency of it, knowing that your association with the frequency that we are not establishing, but continuing that we are focusing upon and adding emphasis to is more likely to be rediscovered by you again and again, because we are focused there. And then you said, I will reach for things that feel good. I will reach for thoughts that feel good. I will reach for words that feel good. I will reach for actions that feel good. And I will recognize the difference and I will tune myself incrementally to the furthest most reaching that we are together able to accomplish. Can you feel the perfection in this eternal dance that we are all upon? Good conversation. <laughs>